Quidj! Look at the time. It's time for another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers throughout time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, welcoming you back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. Anyways, in today's episode, we're gonna try and get through the ghost ship, but I have some grinding and also this I need to do. May evil come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. This is the trapped chest. Now I can't do anything with it yet. If I could, if I could use save states, oh, I would, I would cheat the system majorly. But nah. Instead, sit down these steps. Technically, we're supposed to head into the captain's cabin first to progress, to start the story progression. Kind of. But, um, no. Okay. Pandemonium dart. Throw off this fight mostly because Dart's got the new addition to show off. But speed up on Shana. Yeah, good old Death has a really high attack power. And what did you expect? It's literally Death. Usually get through darts, um, addition, uh, Madness Hero before exiting out of this area. So, expect this video to take a while, even though you won't watch it all. Do you understand how complicated that the addition is, just from that? Or was that not enough for you to understand? <laughs> also, Shanna will be doing more damage to these floating eyeballs than Dart will because they're fire elemental and Dart's current sword is fire elemental. And switching to the Bastard Sword would take his attack down too much for anything that isn't Fire Elemental. So... Yeah, we're kind of at an impasse there. Anyways, Dart's not getting a lot of turns in... Anyways, Dart will get his chances eventually. Ooh, Kongol with the Meteor Strike. That's awesome. How's Kongol's addition coming along? See? The guy runs in there, locks the door. Sure, I'll show this fight because it's a uh, Skellyman. Just attack it, Congo. <laughs> I had a feeling that would work. Please don't attack Shaw, she's weak. So close. This is why I like Congo.
50 gold. Another 20 gold. This. Two. Two. Four. Six. I thought there was more dialogue to that. My evil come to who, he who tries to solve the riddle of the numbers. Because now we go back over here into this room with those numbers we just got. Three numbers. Range numbers. Two? Doesn't open. Okay, so that was right. Let's see. Two. Arrange numbers. That gives me the answer pretty much. Two, two, four. Stun guard. The chest relocks. <laughs> um, it gives you ten attempts on to get the first treasure. Eight attempts to get the second treasure. Six attempts to get the third treasure. Four attempts to get um, that and the next treasure. And then finally, only two attempts to get the ultimate treasure. Now, I have gone and gotten the ultimate treasure several times, but I don't know if I'll do it today. Anyways, I'm going to pause for most of this, except for when it shows the numbers and when I open the chest. Or if I fail. Also, whenever Dart gets a chance to do... Attempt to do that edition. I just realized it didn't show the entirety of the successful attempt. Yes. There you go. It's not an easy addition. Really isn't. Zero. Four. Two. Six. Is this just gonna keep on giving me numbers with two fours and sixes? May evil come to the person who attempts to solve the riddle of the number. I actually thought for a while I, I had solved it because I like kept track of every winning number combination and I started to notice a pattern, but then the pattern fell apart eventually, so obviously not the case. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna show off this because I because I'm gonna hope that Congo gets his turn in so, so I can show off his new magic. Also I'll show off Dukes of Heaven again, just to heal up. <clears throat> yeah, Shanna takes a lot of damage, but luckily she's the healer. So... Oh, and this is far, by far the... Mm, from the last time we'll... See... Shanna's, um, special mode in this dungeon. Almost everything is dark elemental in here. So it's really a bad idea to bring Rose along, but... You know can't be helped in some situations. Okay, Congo. Time for you to... Use your next magic. Or not.
Now you heal yourself again. Because you apparently didn't get healed up all the way. It's interesting how she calls on the healing power of the moon. Yes, it's interesting how the moon has a healing property. You would think it would be the opposite of what it wants. Anyways, this attack. Wow, he didn't say Meteor Strike. I'm very unlucky with the characters actually saying the names of their magic abilities. The characters that can have it so they don't say it. I mean... Also, I have found that two is the most common number with the trap chest. I'm gonna attempt something here. Yeah, I don't see any way to uh, make a save state on this emulator, so... I do it the old-fashioned way. Three numbers. Range numbers. So zero goes in the first spot. How fortuitous. Let's see about two. Okay. So zero. Actually, I still want to keep that on one. How about four in the middle? Four in the middle. So zero, four, six. Nope, zero, four, two. You know what, I won't go for the ultimate treasure because I don't like the ultimate treasure. It's an ultimate war god. Uh, I usually end up buying an ultimate war god anyways later in the game for Hashel. Because Hashel has one of the hardest additions. Yeah. I'm going to have to save at points while doing this. Be just because of the fact of it's a difficult process. I don't want to have to restart. Two. Four. Six. That's <laughs> being silly. Two, four, two. Five. May evil come to the person who attempts to solve the riddle of the number. Also, I'm going to start going with my gut to solve these, not based on how I've been doing it previously, which is the trial and error method. I'm going to do it based on what my gut feeling is, and my current gut feeling is 225, 252.
Oops, I didn't realize I didn't pause. Okay, so... I'm gonna first try 225. <laughs> Call me magic. AKA, I've played this mini game so often that even if there isn't a pattern, my brain has gotten synced up into the matrix of this game and knows the answer. I swear, I'm not insane. <laughs> Wouldn't that be odd if, like, somehow I managed to do that, actually? Like, you know, I'm able to predict just from the fact of how much I've played this game. That'd be creepy. Cool, but creepy. Actually, that's not the only thing about this game that I can do that. Like, depending on the angle of the swooshing into battle, I can, I can guess with somewhat amount of accuracy who's going to go first. One, seven, seven, eight, seven, one, eight, or one, seven, eight. I'm gonna try seven, one, eight first. I gotta, like, I wanted to say one, seven, eight first, but that doesn't, that doesn't seem correct to me. So I'm going to go with 718. If I'm right about this... <laughs> also, I know I just completely dodged all the spirits coming back up. I, I've never done that so well before, so... 718 it is. Okay. So one of those numbers is correct, at least. Well, what? I should just go with the first numbers that pop into my head, apparently. <laughs> Dustin's brain downloaded into Legend of Dragoon, right? Matrix. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm titling this episode. My brain is synced to this game's Matrix. That was creepy. Zero. Seven. Eight. Nine. Seven zero eight. Seven zero eight. It's gonna be seven zero eight. I've gotten better at dodging those ghosts. <laughs> I ain't afraid no ghost. <laughs> seven zero eight. Seven zero eight. Gotta be a 708. I've only got two attempts on this, so I better get as lucky as I've been these previous times. 708. Okay. Wait a minute, all those were in the wrong position. So this is zero. Nine... Seven. Oh. Okay. Well... My gut was wrong. Still, I'm gonna tell this video I was synced up with the game's matrix because that- because those things were hilarious. I'm gonna get on my second attempt, don't you worry. Evil come who attempts to open the treasure chest. 
Is this some kind of trap? No. And also, every time you fail, or if you reload your save, it resets the numbers. So, you have to go all the way back down to that room, get new numbers, come back, open the chest, blah, 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 blah. Also, it's infinitely easier when there are at least two numbers of the same. I, I know for a fact there can be th you can get it so that three of the numbers in the code for the treasure chest are the same. On rare, okay, I've never had it happen to myself, but I've heard about it that you can make it so that you get all four numbers the same. I mean, that's cheating if that happens, but it's interesting. One, one, four, five. One, five, one, or one, four, one. Those are my, those are going to be my two guesses this time. I think my confidence curse has affected this episode. You know, whenever I'm overly confident about something, I start failing at it. Yes. Which means it probably won't be one of the two numbers that I thought about. <laughs> Seems like completely else for the puzzle this time around, and I'm not going to open it this time. Okay. Sorry for unpausing there, I was thinking it maybe would do its uh, attack besides bone throwing. Sweet! Well that's awesome. Um, no more need for Shauna in the party. Yeah, there's an ant crawling on my chest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I still need Shanna in to shoot one more arrow to, you know, become as strong as she can be. Which means Rose is going to be switched in. Oh, and also I can do... I should have rested after I did this. War God Sash. No longer... Yeah, also, I got two talismans now. Where's the amulet? Where is it? Amulet. Yes. Talismans and amulets is all that um, Shanna will ever wear for the rest of the game as her accessory. Because, you know... Kind of best stuff she can equip in her accessory slot. Dart's gonna have the therapy ring for the rest of the game. Congo and Albert are both gonna have bandits rings. Rose is pretty much always gonna have the uh, the physical ring. Meru will eventually have a phantom shield. Um, Hashel will get whatever I decide to give him. Oh yeah, now that Shanna doesn't have the War God Sash, she's going to be doing 150 just normally. This time I'm not going to try and overthink it. One. Two. Six. Eight. Two, one, six. Oh, Kongle just leveled up. It had to have been a normal level up. Yeah. That's what to say. 
No way he's a Dragoon level 4 already. Okay. Also, I know I said 216 was my guess, but for whatever reason, 218 is echoing inside my brain, so 218 it is. Like I said, try not to overthink things. Okay. One more time. All those were incorrect? Eight, one, six. Why did I do that? One wasn't correct. Why would I do that? Okay, so... Think, but don't overthink, Dustin. That is the case. Okay. Well. One more attempt at this, and then I'm giving up, I think. I should probably get it. Uh, I'll continue to do this. So, the title idea for had this video is no longer going to be accurate, because my brain is obviously not synced up with the game as much as I thought it was. I'm going to call it My Overconfidence Betrays Me Again. Congo maxed out his edition, so now he's replaced by Hashel. One. Three. Seven. Seven. Hum yummy ha! So seven one three wasn't right. Of course, on like the ones where it didn't matter, I managed to get it right away. But on the one where it does matter, I can't think. I can't think of them. What I can not get it. Also, I haven't made this joke yet. I don't think, but but Rose's hard blade will make your blade hard. <laughs> Okay. Four. Four. Six. Eight. Oh, Dart just Dragoon leveled up there. I can only really try one more time this episode, and I'm because I'm very tired of trying it. Oh, that's good. Mm. Three. Eight. Four. Nine. Zero. Two. Four. Five. Yeah, it didn't work. You know what, I'm not even going to continue to show the attempts, I'm just going to cut to when I open it. Actually, one thing right here is going to decide whether or not I continue to do it. I'll continue to do it. Okay, that's it. I'm done for this episode. I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna keep on trying this chest today. Uh, my luck ran out. I'm going to try again next time I record. But if I get to the 15 minute mark in, in the next video where I try to do this, well then, you can bet your butt I'm just not gonna keep on trying it. Take that.
but the difference is Nick says that I won't show any of the running back and forth. Just the numbers and the inputs. Almost got enough gold to buy an ultimate war god. <laughs> oh, I'm still one fairy of sticks away. I also want to show this. It, it is rusty and doesn't work at all. <laughs> so I'd show that. Anyways, yeah, um, I'm tired of playing that chest mini game. My overconfidence defeated me yet again. And now I'm just gonna say screw it until next time. So, this looks like a good place to end off for today's episode. So, this is. The Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying, have a better day than I. <sighs> that, uh, that made me forget the rest of my outro. Have a good day or whatever time it is wherever you are. Next episode, we'll try that stupid chess mini game again. Hopefully open it this time. Ah, uh, bye-bye now.